We could have made this look, if we've gone, gone biased, we could have made this look even more ridiculous. Next slide. Okay, first three demos. The autonomous database running on the Oracle Cloud versus the Oracle database running on the Amazon Cloud. Again, I'm only going to run demo 6A and 6B because they just take the, 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 because the Amazon side of the demo takes too long. <laughs> it's true, and you'll see it. It's really kind of funny. Okay, <laughs> next, next slide. Okay, demo number one. Uh, this is a financial analysis workload. Oracle on Oracle versus Oracle on Amazon. First slide. Okay, here we are. There, there, there they are side by side. By the way, we have these actual demos all running live all over Moscone. They're all over the place running live. And you can go run them live yourself and just, they're great. I've done this, but they just take a little, a little bit of time. Okay, you, you hit start. You always hit start on AWS first because that's going to take a long time. <laughs> and then you hit start on Oracle. Next slide. Okay. So after, after, after 19 seconds, 20, 20 seconds, uh, we both spent two seconds. Next slide. Two seconds. Uh, we, finished, we finished the entire workload uh, and spent four cents. Amazon is still going. Next slide. Okay. Amazon uh, took 23 seconds to do what we did in, uh, in uh, excuse, excuse me. Amazon took 255, am I reading it right? 255 seconds to do uh, what we did in 34 seconds. <laughs> but forget that. Who cares? Your Amazon bill is 23 cents. Your Oracle bill is 4 cents. You're going to pay Amazon almost six times more to do the same work. And by the way, you don't get any 99.995 availability. You get no rack, you get lots of downtime, you get lots of human labor. Forget all that. This is just your Amazon bill versus your Oracle bill. Forget they don't give you, give you availability, but you consume tons and tons of labor. Forget, that's all, put that in your pocket. You got that, that's free. But you gotta be willing to pay less. If you, want, if you want the availability, you've got to be willing to pay four cents, not 23. If you want to minimize your human labor, you've got to be willing to pay four cents, not 23. Let's do this again. Next slide. And this is a retail, it's a, it's a legit retail uh, database and, a, and, and an analytical workload. Next slide. All right, uh, we'll hit AWS first, let's go. All right, here, here we're, al uh, we're almost done after 20 seconds. Uh, we're bo we both spent two seconds. The problem is, they haven't done very much. You know, after 20 seconds, we've spent two cents, they've spent two cents, but they haven't done much. Next slide. Okay, we're finished. Four cents and 35 seconds. Next slide. All right. 261 seconds versus 35 seconds. Strangely enough, it's the same multiple. Strangely enough, it's the same multiple. So, I'll just repeat what I said. If you want high availability, if you want lower labor costs, you want higher performance, you want any all that stuff, you've got to be willing to pay four cents, not 23. Some people like paying 23. I just don't know any. Next slide. All right, one more, an insurance analysis workload. Let's look, look at this. Hit AWS, hit Oracle, next slide. Here we go. After two cents, we're almost done. They're just getting started. Uh, in 20 seconds, next slide. We're done at three cents and 26 seconds, next slide. All right, took them 282 seconds. Yeah, so we're way faster. So we're ten times more than ten times faster, right? No, we're more than ten times faster. But who cares? Our bill is three cents. Their bill 
is 25 cents. You want to run 10 times faster? You got to be willing to pay less. You don't get that for nothing. <laughs> you got to make some compromises. I mean, it's it gets, this is about to get worse. This is Oracle at Amazon. What do you see Amazon at Amazon versus Oracle at Oracle? Next slide. All right, so Amazon is five to eight times more expensive running the identical workload than the Oracle Autonomous Database. Why would anyone do that? We guarantee you contractually to cut your Amazon bill in half. It's fairly easy when you're five to eight times faster. We feel pretty comfortable, okay, how much risk are we taking by just simply say, whatever you're paying Amazon, you give us, you know, we'll guarantee it's less than half. It's probably gonna be, you know, less than a quarter as expensive when you move. And by the way, all you have to do is, is simply try a workload over at Amazon and say, okay, I, yeah, here's my Oracle workload running at Amazon and to me like that, I know I can, Oracle will guarantee me whatever that bill is, it's gonna be half over here. And the labor costs, the labor costs are absolutely minimized. You're doing everything with tons of labor over at Amazon. Here the labor costs are almost gone. That's a much bigger savings than cutting your Amazon bill in half or knocking 90% off your Amazon bill. And the cost of and the cost of security and rolling, you know, online patching, online security patching. What exactly, how many cents did it cost Equifax to not do an online patch? A 24, three? What's the cost of being not being able to do online security patching? What's the cost of just missing it? Even if you do the online security patching, what if a human being just misses it? What's the cost of that? So you want automated security patching, you want minimized labor costs, you want to run 10 times faster, you have to be willing to pay a lot, not just less, a lot less. Okay. In this case, five to eight times less. Next slide, please. All right, this is Oracle Autonomous Database in the Oracle Cloud versus Amazon Redshift in the Amazon cloud. Let's look at, a, let's look at four and five. Let's look, start, with, start with this. This is a financial analysis workload. Here we go, next slide. <coughs> hit AWS first, then hit start on Oracle. Okay, here we go, 15 seconds into it. We both spent two cents. It's interesting, the, prices, the, the price per second ain't that different. Pretty interesting. Next slide. Okay, after 23 seconds, we're done. Amazon's just getting started. Uh, next slide. All right. So, in the financial analysis workload, this time they don't have the Oracle database running at Amazon. This time they have their own Redshift database running at Amazon. So Redshift took 247 seconds to do what we did in 23 seconds. Of course, it's a database specialized for fast query processing. Uh, but they're t more than 10 times slower. Uh, but they're only, they're only nine times more expensive. Um, okay, uh, of course, no labor costs with Oracle, no pilot error with Oracle, rolling security patches with Oracle, gotta be willing to pay nine times less. Next slide. This time we're going to look at a retail analysis workload. It's the same workloads with the same workloads we ran earlier. The retail analysis workload. Next slide. Okay, hit AWS. Let's start it. Okay, after 15 seconds, we're almost done. They're just getting started. Next slide. Uh, work finished after 20 seconds. Uh, they're not halfway done after 143 seconds. Next slide. Okay, they finally finished at 282 uh, seconds versus our 20. You can do the math. 
<laughs> you know, we're 14 times faster. Amazon's 15 times, 15 and a half times more expensive. But that's big. No. Lots of labor, pilot error, no real time patching. You've got to be willing to pay less. Next slide. Okay, this is, this is a little more interesting. I'm, I'm going to run these, actually run these demos um, myself live. And you can see, you'll be able to see why I did, didn't do all of them this way. And all right, here I am over here. Uh, that's up. Okay, great. As I said, you always hit the AWS thing first and let them, I hit it. Okay, five seconds. And just, you know, this is like, you're racing, you're racing somebody in a slower car or something like that. Give them a little bit of a head start. You know, you can be talking to somebody outside the car when they hit the gas and they're speeding down the road and you're talking to somebody, you're exchanging cell phone numbers, you know, and then you get in your car and you say, okay, I guess I'm racing, I gotta, excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get going here. Start Oracle. Okay. No, I don't wanna... uh, I hope I didn't blow this. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, we're going now. All right, it's looking better. <laughs> okay, we passed those suckers. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Seven seconds, three. Okay, we're done. Thirty-eight seconds. Someone tell me when Amazon finishes. Uh, someone just keep an eye on it. All right, so this is ridiculous. You know, uh, we're a lot faster there. We can't even tell how much faster we, we are here. But I'm, I'll tell you right now, with all the benchmarks, we are beat. Amazon Redshift cost between nine and 15 times more to run the same exact database and the same exact queries. So, if you're willing to pay less, you get autonomy, automated security patching, disaster recovery, you get all that stuff. In addition, but only if you're willing to pay a lot less. And, um, and of course, the labor costs, the labor costs are, are Next slide, how's, how's Amazon doing? This is why I didn't run them all manually, by the way. This is why, this would have been a very painful experience for all of us. Next slide, but probably most painful for Amazon. Uh, next slide. Ooh, next slide. 